Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Kansas City Royals franchise where we go over top prospects from AA Northwest Arkansas up to AAA Omaha. Last time we went over catching prospect in AA Northwest Arkansas, and now we're going to be heading up to AAA in Omaha to go over first base prospect Pavin Smith. Like I said, Pavin Smith is a first baseman. He can also play the corner outfit positions, but he's not really looked at as a corner outfitter in our organization. His main place in our organization is as a first baseman. He is a left-handed bat, a left-handed throw. He stands six foot two, 210 pounds. He is 24 years old out of the state of Florida, but he wasn't drafted out of Florida in 2017 when he was took when he was taken seventh overall by the D-backs in 2017. He was taken out of the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia. And now, yes, he was drafted by the D-backs, and we did acquire him in the Cincinnati Reds trade that we made where we sent Mike Moustakis to the Reds and, and return, got Pavin Smith, Gustavo Rodriguez, and then just a throw-in starting pitcher and Nick Travieso. But Pavin Smith, not a Red in real life, and this... I have no idea how he ended up on the Reds, because there are no CPU trades going on in so far in this franchise, because I have them turned off to avoid insane trades that happen. So what must have happened was the D-backs just didn't offer him a contract, and they let him walk for whatever reason, and then the Reds offered him a contract, and then they put him on their 40-man, because he has been up for a September call-up with the Reds. But aside from that, Pavin Smith is a 71 overall B potential. He has an absolutely outstanding bat, especially against righties, but it's definitely no slouch against lefties either. He has a 63 contact, 69, very nice power against right-handed pitching. And then against lefties, it's a 55 contact and 56 power. So like I said, not a slouch against the same side lefties, but he is a very good hitter against righties. And he is a B potential, and he's still young, so those stats are just going going to keep going up as he just keeps raking through AAA and then eventually in the major leagues, which I will get into a bit later on in this episode. He has great plate skills as well, which is plate division is at 68, so he's not going to be swinging and missing at pitches a lot. He's not going to be striking out a whole ton. And he has 78 plate discipline, which you absolutely love to see, which means he's just going to be drawing walks left and right. This guy is going to be hitting for power. He's going to be hitting for contact. He's going to be hitting consistently. And he's going to be able to have a high OBP, which is like this guy is just made to be on my team. And he's also got a pretty good glove. He's got a 68 fielding. The reaction's not the greatest stats, a 56. I mean, it's not the worst, but I mean, the guy's a pretty good glove at first base. And as far as his future with this team, I did not trade for this guy so we could possibly maybe a sort of come down the line and maybe possibly be the first baseman in a few years. I traded for this guy because I expect him to be the first baseman long-term for this franchise and very soon. It really just depends on how well Hunter Dozier plays. If Hunter Dozier starts off like the first month or two of the season really slow and isn't the best. He's getting sent right down to AAA, and Pavin Smith, if he's down in AAA doing even half decently, is coming up to the big leagues if that happens. So Pavin Smith, you're probably going to see him in the big leagues pretty soon, if I had to say so, if I had to take a guess. So Pavin Smith, Hopefully the franchise first baseman here in Kansas City. And with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the prospect profile of Pavin Smith, first base prospect. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye. Ocean Man.